Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very advanced invoice manager in Notion. And I believe this video is going to help you to learn a lot of things too. So let's start, but hold on. If you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to do it. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a new base and name it as invoice manager, invoice manager. And then I'm going to add an icon. And I think this one is very good. Then let's minimize the slide bar. And then we're going to click on enter. I need to screen view. All right, so I'd like to take a divider, so divider. Then I'm going to take a new database, slash database. I'd like to work on table view, sorry, new database. All right, so I'm going to name this database as report. Let's hide this database title. All right, then we don't need the tag property. We're going to delete this and I'm going to name a job. So for example, traffic, sorry, traffic designer. All right, then I'm going to take a property. It's called text property. And I'm going to write down the name of this property as client name. Then I'm going to take another property. It's going to be the date. So it will be due date. Due date. Then I'm going to take another property called status property. So it's status. And I'm going to change some name of the status. The first one will be old. Then stand. And then it will be paid. So now I'm going to write down the client name. So on is me. Then due date 17 March. All right, then I'm going to take another property, formula property, and name it as state. All right, so let's write a formula. I'm not going to explain this formula now, but in some other next video, I will explain how it's work. So I just paste it to make our work quick. And here we can see it's today. So let me explain how this formula exactly works. All right, so I just filled up some property. So the first thing we can see is today. So if your status is on hold and the due date is today, this property will automatically show the date. And let's change the status, send. So we can see it's still in due. So if you send your invoice and it's over due date, but your client didn't pay you yet, it will show in the due. And if you decide send the invoice in near future, it will show how many days left. So once I click on the status and click on the pay, we can see the payment is paid. So hopefully you understand how this is to work. All right, so we have completed our client report database. Now it's time to work on the main database called invoice. Before I jump into the invoice, I want to create another option on status. So I'm just going to click on it and edit property. Then I'm going to write another option called not started. All right, and it will be the default. Also, I want to change the state icon. So I'm going to choose this one. All right, so now it's time to create invoice database. I'm going to take table view. All right, of course, new database and I'm going to name it as invoice. So let's get the text property. We don't need this. And in this invoice, we'll simply create the template. So here and create new template and we are going to name it as invoice 001. Then take another property called date property. So we are going to have a full screen view. So the first thing I'm going to do is slash, then I'm going to take two columns. The first column will be company name, company name and heading will be three. All right. And in this column, it will be bill two, bill two, and it also will be the heading three. So let's have a full screen view for that three dot button that full width. So here will be our company details and here will be our client details. In order to make our tutorial quick, I'm just going to copy and paste the information. And it's nothing so hard that you cannot do by your own. So now here is our client information. All right, but I think we need to change the font of our color. So I'm just going to select it and change the color as gray color. We are going to do the same thing also for the company information. Then here is this again slash we need to column. Now we'll write down our date here. So our first date is date of issue and I'm just going to select it all and make it bold. Then in the second column, there will be due date. All right, so we are going to write down our date at the rate. Then we can see today, but there is no date appear. So for that reason, we're going to click on the today date. Then there is a option called date format and time zone. We're going to click it and we have to change the date format as full date. Now we can see here our date. Then also we are going to do the same for the due date. All right, so let's take a divider here. There is a space, we don't need this. Then again, space. then we are going to take a background color, default gray background, and we are going to write it product details. And we are going to change this font as heading three. So here you go, now we have to create our product details. So I'm going to take a database, table database, table view, then of course, new database. 
and name it as price detail and we are going to hide this database title and we are going to change the also table view name as price details and let's change the icon here all right so let's let this view we don't need this so the first thing is going to be the service name so i'm going to rename it as service name then i'm going to write down a service called graphic design then we don't need the text property i'm just going to delete this property and i'm going to create another property called number and let's change this number as us dollar edit property and we are going to change the number format us sorry us dollar here okay. so for example our service was hundred dollar then we are going to just duplicate this property and name it as one TT and here we have to change the property format edit property and not it's not US dollar it will be a number because it's quantity so our quantity was two and now we are going to take another property formula property formula and we want the subtotal price subtotal all right so let's write down the formula as price oh sorry here we have to change the name as price then subtotal property pr sorry price into quantity all right so you can see there is 200 but it's still is number so we have to change the number format click here edit property number format as us dollar so let's change the icon then how about if we give any discount to our clients so i'm going to take another property for discount property number sorry number and the number format will be the percentage all right and name it as discount discount and also we have to change the icon minus icon so we are going to give 10% discount so I think we need to resize the property alright so we can see here 10% discount so we still don't know the discount amount for that I'm going to take another property formula property so there will be discount amount sorry amount and let's change the icon as this icon okay so it's time to write a formula again and it will be subtotal into discount all right we are done so now we can see 20 is still its number so we have to change the format as us dollar all right so now we can see total 10 percent discount is equal 20 dollar so now we have the discount amount and this time we have to find how much it was total so we are going to write another formula for the total amount formula property total and number as hash all right so let's write down the formula to find out total amounts it's pretty simple formula just sub total minus discount sorry discount amount discount amount so here we can see 180 dollar we have to change the number format again us dollar so we can see total amount is 180 dollar so let's get out the summary of it all right so here you go let's check out again click on web design price 500 dollar quantity was two and we can see total 1000 dollar and we are going to 25 percent discount which is equal 250 dollar so our total amount is 750 dollar and now we can see the summary here so it's very simple i'm just going to delete this we don't need this all right so i'm going to take four column this time the first one will be empty and in the second column i'm just going to write subtotal amount so slash background dj background and there will be subtotal select all then change the font as heading 3 or also you can change the font as just as bold so let's see how it looks bold yeah it's look good so here in the below we'll write down our price so subtotal was $1000 and let's change the color it will be the gray color so here we go so one more thing left let's take a divider Writer. so now we are going to write down our contact status by any chance if your client want to contact with you after you will send the invoice so i'm just going to copy and paste it here you go here is our invoice so let's back to our main property invoice manager there is still one thing left to do so let's make this template as default for all views in invoice all right so now once you click on the empty row we can see there is an invoice created automatically so once you click on the open, you will find the invoice information. So you just have to rewrite it as your own. All right, so let's close it. And again, once you click another row, we can see here is the same number. So we have to change the number. You can add a date if you want here. So let's sort it as ascending name and it will be ascending. All right. So now we can see we have our client's report and invoice as well. So we want to make a relation between these two databases. For that, I'm just going to click on here and relation property. 
then we are going to take the invoice property click on it and now we want to show it in the invoice too and add a relation so now you can see there is a relation between this two database and also here so let's drag it to the left side here and here we can also add an icon click on the template new template and we are going to add an icon by default icon this one is good all right as we created our this data before so we have to put it now manually open and change the icon all right so from here we can also add an invoice for example the graphic design invoice was one so it's our main database we are going to create some view first of all let's change the name as main database all right then again we are going to do the same thing here also main, main database all right so it's time to create some view first of all i'm just going to duplicate this duplicate with content and here i'm going to take two column and in this column i'm just going to paste this here so i'm just going to resize this now i'm going to change the name as of this database name it as current month all right so also we have to change the icon as current month so here i'm going to do the same duplicate this duplicate with content and change the table view name recent invoice so let's hide this database title name as recent invoice so let's hide this database title all right now i'm going to change the view as layout view as list view go to back and then here is show two properties no we just need one properties and i'm just going to paste it here all right so now we can see recent invoice and current month then we also have to create filter for this current month filter and it will be the due date not this week it will be the this month all right then we are going to take another view called project status project status and we are going to text it as heading three so for the project status we are gonna do the same thing just copy the main database title duplicate it with content and we are going to drag it to the project status and we also have to change the view so here and layout it will be the board view yeah so let's change the card size as large and also there is just something we need to do is properties we have to show all the properties that is important so the first thing is name then client name then due date then status and then state so now we have project status view we have recent and current month view so let's change the name as project status rename project sorry project status all right so then we need another view called waiting project or pending project so pending project and let's reset the fonts as uh, heading three so again i'm just going to duplicate the main property duplicate with content and i'm going to drag it to the pending project and i'm just going to create a filter so this filter will be by status and this status is to do and in progress so let's rename the database name rename let's change the icon so let's hide this property which on it hide in view all right so here is our invoice but there's one more thing i want to do is click on plus then i'm going to take a paste name it as database add an icon database icon invoice manager all right then i'm going to take another paste name it as report and then add an icon all right then again back to the main database and i'm going to take another paste name as invoice add an icon so invoice icon all right. all right so it was our client report database i'm just going to rename this report so i'm just going to drag it to the report and here is our main database invoice database so i'm going to drag it to the invoice so thank you still with me for this long time hope you learned well i really appreciate you but still if you didn't subscribe please subscribe so see you in the next video bye bye